A song from 2024? Man. And it's Pearl Jam? Whatever happened to this channel? <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to Lee Reacts. Hope everyone's having a good day. I know, I am. We are back with Pearl Jam for the first time. I'm actually um, pretty hip to Pearl Jam, you know, because I, I like grunge music. I, I know most of that uh, scene from the 90s at least. Um, this is something different though, obviously, because this is from 2024. Uh, the album Dark Matter, we're gonna be listening to the track called Waiting for Stevie, which apparently has a background. Um, it's about Stevie Wonder, actually. Uh, if it, does, it doesn't have a thing for it, but um, I read on this other website, it was like songwriter.com talking about it. Um, basically, they were waiting for Stevie Wonder. <laughs> That's what it boils down to. Um, they were waiting for him to show up to a recording session. I guess they wrote that song. Um, this uh, is a different producer than they usually work with. Um, okay, so Stevie Wonder was performing harmonica on a different track, and uh, the Wonder session didn't start on time. He was scheduled to arrive at 4 p.m., but didn't arrive till seven hours later, 11 p.m., uh, while uh, Eddie Vedder and uh, Mr. Watt waited for him. <laughs> they began trading guitar riffs. Watt played first, Vedder, and then Vedder said he had a similar idea. They created a new riff by combining both ideas, uh, which became the starting point for the song Waiting for Stevie. Um, I believe this is courtesy of our patron, Bill, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, thank you for your support, Bill. I actually appreciate it. I'm excited to check this out. Uh, I've not listened to Pearl Jam in a long time, and I'm actually kind of intrigued to hear what they sound like in the year 2024. So let's go. Y'all aren't subscribed, help the brother out. Click that icon right down there. Okay, thank you, I appreciate it. Uh, if you leave a like and a comment too, I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Pearl Jam waiting for Stevie. Yeah. Three, two, one, go.
camera. Guys, you still got like 40 seconds. Dad? Whatever, this is the other riff. That was honestly really good. I'm not even going to lie. That was... Okay, yeah. I see why you requested that. I was a little... Not concerned. I was just like... I, I didn't know it in my head. I was like, okay, Pearl Jam. All right. I, I love Pearl Jam, but I don't know what like their recent material is like because I haven't listened to them in years. But the stuff that I do uh, enjoy, you know, their 90s catalog and stuff, um, this is pretty damn close to that, you know? This was just a more refined and polished, more mature version of what they played in the 90s. And I'm very happy for that, you know, because um, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know what I'm saying? Like, is that that sound they had in the 90s, them Stone Temple Pilots, Temple of the Dog, all that stuff, man. Um, I'd even count Nirvana at some points. Uh, but I don't know. Soundgarden, too. You know, I loved all those bands. Those are my when I was uh <laughs> at my lowest points probably in my life i listened to a lot of 90s grunge you can see probably why that didn't help <laughs> it's very it's pretty dark music sometimes but it's, sometimes it's not um here it didn't feel like that at all because if you're gonna write a song about waiting for stevie wonder you're not gonna make it dark even though the album's called dark matter um you this is a uh, they pushed the pace it was heavy at points some of those fills were just fantastic um, the lead guitar solo, whoever that was, I don't know exactly. Um, because it says here, Eddie Vedder was on lead vocals, guitar and piano, Mike McCready on guitar and piano, Stone Gassard on guitar, Jeff Ament on bass, um, Matt Cameron on drums, and there's some other people for some other albums or other songs on the album. Um, this was track seven, so right in the middle of the album, basically. Um, I think that was honestly one of the better songs I've heard in a while in this genre, you know, um, especially for nowadays. Nowadays, it's a freaking uh, desert compared to what it was even in the 90s, not even counting the 70s or the 60s. Even in the 90s, at least there was good music still coming out, you know. Nowadays, not so much. There are a few and far between, as I say. And uh, this is as close as you're going to get to something decent these days, probably. I mean, there's also... There's more than a few bands out there still playing, still trying, still trying to create, do something new, not just be stuck in the past or just chasing trends and stuff. Um, and I think Pearl Jam, they went back to what made them them here with this album, because apparently the stuff before this was kind of a departure. And this was a return to their original, not original, it doesn't say original sound, but to their uh, more uh, popular sound, it says. Um, this was the fourth single released for it too. It was released actually as a single. This song was released 18 days ago. Can you believe that? 
18 days ago, less than three weeks, this is released as a single. The album itself, uh, itself came out, I think, um, April 19th, so about five months ago. But the single was just released a couple weeks ago. I think that's very funny. And uh, that was a great song. Uh, Eddie's vocals, uh, if, if anything, they've gotten better with time, you know? Um, it's still, it doesn't sound exactly the same as what it did back in the 90s, but of course he's grown. It's been years, um, but it still sounds like him. Uh, it's a little different, a little older. Um, the guitar, like I said, the solo was genius, honestly. That was a great solo. Um, the bass throughout had a good tone and very fat tone to it. And uh, the drummer, Cameron, just killing it, man. Those fills on that snare were great, dude. He was, he was really good. Um, I don't know exactly, you know, it, it, this is just them, you know, they were just sitting there waiting for Stevie and they came up with the song while they were waiting. I think that's funny. And of course you have to name the song waiting for Stevie at that point. Like, of course you do, you know, <laughs> it's Stevie wonder, man. And now maybe we should listen to the song he was on. Cause he played harmonica on one of these songs. So we'll have to try that out. The, the album before this was called gigaton and it came out four years ago in 2020. And apparently that was a very experimental album. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll have to check that one out too. Cause, uh, if this is indicative of their recent catalog, I'm down to hear more. If it's not, then we'll just keep on moving. But it's up to you guys. Let me know down below. If you have any other tracks by Pearl Jam you think I'd like, leave it down below. And if I've heard it, I'll let you know, obviously. I have heard a lot of their, you know, 90s catalog. They were they were, they were, were my shit there for a while. I'm not going to lie. And then Stone Temple Pilots, Nirvana's uh, Bleach album, Temple of the Dog. Oh, man, I had my grunge phase. Oh, boy, did I. Uh, I miss that music sometimes. I really do. Stone Temple Pilots, man. That that first album is insane. One of the best albums of all time, bro. <laughs> uh, but I'm off track. Thank you um, to our patron, Bill, again, for a great pick. That was awesome, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I will see you all guys later. See ya. And since you stayed so long through the whole video, which is much appreciated, I'm going to let you all in on a little secret. We have a really cool Patreon community. If you look down in the description of the video, there is a link to our Patreon page. Um, if you join the $15 tier or up, you get one for your request a month. Uh, but the requesting is closed until, I guess, like October 1st when the, you know, the next cycle will start for the next month. Uh, but you're more than free to join. You get access to all of our block videos, full album reactions, our private patrons only Discord server if you want to come chat and hang out. We have fun in there. Um, and yeah, there's also a PayPal as well in the description too. If you want to send a tip or request in that way. It's much appreciated. All right, that's it.